All right, so um, what I'm gonna do today is try to um, dis disassemble a keycap. Um, so a, a bit of background first. So you can generally separate the entire keyboard area into uh, the multiple keys, which has link bar beneath it, which is a lot harder to dis disassemble, so we're not getting into that uh, today. And there's others, like the smaller keys, which is actually really hard to disassemble as well uh, due to its size. And then there's the ones with the uh, LED indicator. Um, this means that the structure beneath, that these structures beneath are um, different from the rest of the ones, which requires extra caution. So we'll generally be focusing on the regular keys. These keys, in essence, basically is supported by uh, both the scissor structure and the rubber dome in, in the middle. So this, the, the rubber dome in the middle provides actuation. See, when, when I press it, you, you can see that the screen um, lits up. <clears throat> so most of the time, this is responsible for actuation and detecting your input. So again, this might differ from between um, brands, but at least for Dell, well, every key usually operates on a hook and slider structure. So as you can see, the top part is a hook and the bottom part is a slider. So uh, not getting into the mechanics and dynamics of uh, movement too much, but basically this is necessary in order to allow for movement. So um, some brands might put the hook on the bottom part, some might put it on the top part. So, but for Dell, I, I would say most, most of the time it's on top. So how do you disassemble it? Knowing that it's a hook and slider structure, what you do is that you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't pull from the bottom end of you know the the key because as a sl the slider won't give. When it gives, sometimes it will break the key. So what you do is that you apply like a small, you use like a, s a small pen knife or something basically that slits in. So just sort of slightly um, pull it, like slightly pull the key up and then um, hold the bottom part in place by by placing a finger there, right? It's just sort of pulling it in place because then the entire structure is not rigid. So place it in place and then slightly pull from the top and then you hear a pop, right? When you hear a pop, as you can see, the bottom part just starts by sort of connect, still being connected uh, to it. So you just gently slide things out, right? All right, so how do you assemble it? So basically, remember there's a slider and a hook. So what you do is place a slider in like this, sort of slide it into place. As you can tell, see, it feels like this, right? See, it, it feels nice and tuck, and then press down. See, nice and easy. So basically, how do you clean it? So again, um, I will not recommend uh, taking every key out to clean it because it's not necessary most of the time. But if you suffer issues from, um, say, a non-functioning key due to water spillages and stuff, what you can do is that um, you try to clean on the, on, on the, um, the around the rubber dome because rubber dome is glued. So try not to you know, apply anything that might uh, destroy the glue. So that might create a bigger problem than, than you started with. So, and clean on the back side of the keycap as well, just to ensure that there's nothing stopping it from press, being pressed down like this. All right. Um, and try again, um, if it's water ingress, try pressing it like a few times and sort of blow drying it a little bit. Uh, that might clear up any residual issues that you might have. All right. So this is it.